Okay, in lesson 13, we're still going to be solving for area with mixed numbers, but we're going to be using more of the abstract instead of actually using the visual for like a um, area model. Current A, we have 8 thirds, and we're going to multiply that by 24 fourths centimeters. So I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction, and that would be 8 times 24 over 3 times 4. And I'm going to, first off, I'm going to take a look at this. I'm saying, well, I know I can take one, 3 will go into 3 one times. 3 will go into 24 eight times. Now I can see 4 will go into 4 one time. 4 will go into 8 two times. And that's going to leave me with 8 times 2, which gives me 16 over 1, which equals 16 centimeters squared. On B, I have 32 times, 32 fifths times. Now, this is 3 and 3 eighths. So, I'm going to find out how many eighths are in three holes. Well, I know there's 8 eighths in one hole, two eight, excuse me, 16 eighths in two holes. So, there'll be 24 eighths in three holes. So, and I can see 8 times 3 is 24, but I have three, three extra 8s right here. So, it'll be 24 and 3 is be 27 eighths. Now, when I rewrite that as a fraction, I got 32 times 27 over 5 times 8. And I can see 8 will go into 8 one time. 8 will go into 32 four times. And now there's nothing else left, so I know I have 4 times 27 over 5. So I have 27 times 5. That would be 35. That would be 10, 13, so 135. So I have 135 over 5. And that's a long division problem. So I have 135 divided by 5. 5 cannot go into 100, but 5 can go into 13 tens two times. So that would be 10. And I get 3, bring down my 5. Now 5 will go into 35. 7 times 7 times 5 is 35, with 0 remainder. So I can see that the answer here would have equaled 27. So on the next one, I'm going to find how many 6 are in 5 holes. And I know 6 times 5 is 30, so there's 36 in 5 holes and 4 more. So I'm going to end up with 30. Four, six, and the quick way of doing it is five times six is thirty plus four more would be thirty-four. Times four times five is twenty because there's twenty fifths in four holes, plus three. So now I have twenty-three fifths. So rewriting it as a fraction, I got thirty-four times twenty-three over six times five. And you can see I do not have a multiple of 5 because I don't have a 0 or 5 ending up top. And multiples of 6, I do not have multiples of 6 either. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply these out. So now I have 34 times 23. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 1 is 10. Put my placeholder in. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. So I have seven. Excuse me, 782. So I have 782 over 6 times 5 is 30. So the long division is going to be 782, 30. And now 30 cannot go in 700s, but 30 can go into 78 tenths, tens, two times. That would be 60. And that leaves me 18. So now I have 182. And I know that can go in there 6 times, because 6 times 30 is going to give me 180. Leave me a 2 remainder. And that would be... 2 thirtieths because my divisor ends up being my denominator. Now, 26 and 2 thirtieths, I know that can equal 2 times 1 and 2 times 15. I can take out my 2s and I know it's 26 and 1 15th inches squared. For D, we're going to have 5 sevenths times 6 times 5 is 30. Plus 3 is 33, so we got 33 fifths. And that makes this one very easy because when I rewrite it, I can see I got 5 times 33 over 5 times 7, 
5 are going to 5 one time, 5 goes into 5 one time, which equals 33 sevenths. And I know 7 will go into 33. Well, 7 times 4 is 28. And that's going to leave me 5 remainder, so 5 sevenths. So this is going to equal 4 and 5 sevenths meters squared. Chris is making a tabletop from leftover tiles. He has nine tiles that measure three and a quarter inches long and two and a half, two and three quarter inches wide. What is the area he can cover with these tiles? Well, a couple different ways we can do this, but we know the tile, one tile is like this, and it's three and one eighth inches, and this is two and three fourths inches. So uh, we end up with three and one eighth times two and three fourths. So I know there's 24 eighths and three holes, so it's gonna be 25 eighths times, there, I know there's eight fourths in two holes, so eight would be 11 fourths. When I rewrite it, I got 25 times 11 over eight fourths, which is gonna be thir 32. So now I have 25 times 11, which is 25, 275. So I have 275 over 32. So I'll do our long division, 275, 32. Well, I have to, if I this was 30, I would say 9, okay? So let's try it, 32 times 9. It'd be 18, 27, 28. So that's too much, so it has to be 8. So 32 times 8 is going to be 16, 24, 25. So that'd be 256, which is 19. And this is going to be 19, 30 seconds. So we have 8 and 19, 30 seconds square inches. Okay, but it says he has nine tiles, so we have to multiply this by nine. Now, I could do this two different ways, but since I only have to do it w this way, I'm going to take eight times, I'm going to use my distributor property, eight times nine equals 72. Now, I get nine times 19, 30 seconds, so I can make nine one over nine. Now, 19 times 9, that's going to be 81, that's 917, that's 171, 30 seconds. So 171 divided by 32, and I'm going to say that's about 5 times, maybe 6. So let's try, now 6 would be too much, so it has to be 5. 32 times 5, it's going to be 10, 18, be 119, ah, that's, that would be 160, I'm sorry, 160. So that would be 5. So 160 is going to leave us 11. So it's be 5 and 11, 30 seconds, plus our 72 would be 77 and 11, 30 seconds inches squared. That is our answer for this problem. Okay, so in this one here, we want to find the total area of the gray, and then we're going to find the area of the individual white ones and subtract it from it to find out how much cart is needed to cover just the gray area. Now, one of the parameters I'm missing on the side is 31 and 7 eighths, so I'm going to write that in. Now, to find the total area of the gray, I'm going to end up with 31 and 7 eighths times 19 and 1 half. Now, I'm going to convert these to fractions greater than 1, because I know in order to figure out how many 8s 31 will have, 38, 31 times 8 is going to give me 241. Let's do that to make sure. 31 times 8, 248. 248 plus 7 8 is going to be 256 8 now, 19, 19 times 2 is going to be 38, and 1 will be 39. 
halves. Now when I rewrite as a fraction, I have 256 times 39 over 8 times 2. And I know 2 going to 2 1 time, 2 going 100, 256 128 times. Now I still have my 8. And I know it is a factor of it. So I'm going to take 8. 8 going to 12 one time. That gives me 48. And I know that would be 6 times. Because 6 times 8 is 48. So I know 8 would go into 8 one time. 8 will go into 128 16 times. So now we're just left with 39 times 16. And that's going to be 54, 18, 234. Our placeholder, 9 and a 3, be 4, 12, 624. So this area, total area, is 624 feet squared. Now, in order to find these individual ones, let's start at the bottom here. I've got 17 times 2.5. And two and a half, I know, would be five seconds times 17 over one. Now, two, neither one up top is a multiple of two. So we're going to end up with a 17 times five over two. And five times 10 is 50. Five times seven is 35. So that's going to be 85 seconds. So 85 divided by 2, 2 going to 8, 4 times, 4 times 2 is going to be 8. Bring down our 5, 2 going to 5, 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4. It leaves us 1 half. So this area right here is going to have an area of 42 and 1 half. Now we're looking at this area right here. So we're going to end up multiplying 3 and 3 fourths times 12. Well, 3 and 3 fourths is going to be 3 times 4 is 12, and 3 is 15 fourths times 12 over 1. I like to rewrite it as 15 times 12 over 4. 4 going to 4 one time, 4 going to 12 three times. 3 times 15 is 45 feet squared. So now here's 45 feet squared. And this here is also feet squared. Our last one is a large one on top. It's going to be 13 and 3 fifths times 11 and 3 quarters. Well, 13 times 5 is going to be 65 and 3 would be 68 fifths. Let's check it again. 5 times 10 is 50. 5 times 3 is 15. 65 and 68. Okay. Times 11 times 4 is 44, and 3 would be 47 fourths. Well, let's see if we can simplify this. Let's check. Let's divide 4 into 68, see if we can get something to go even. 4 goes into 6 one time, be 4, be 28. So I know this in here is going to be 7. 7 times 4 is 28, be 0. So I know 4 can go into 4 one time. 4 can go into 68 17 times. So now we have 17 times 47 over 5. So 47 times 17, that's 49. 28, 29, 30, 32. Put our placeholder, 7, 4. And we get 9, 9, 7. So now we have... 799 divided by 5. 5 goes into 79. Let's see, 5 goes into 7 one time. So it's going to leave us 2, bring down a 9. 5 and go 29 5 times. It'll be 25, it'll be 4, bring down a 9. 5 can go into 49 9 times. That'd be 45 with 4 left over. So it'd be four fifths. So now we have one fifty nine and four fifths feet squared. Now I'm going to add up my different ones. I have one fifty nine four fifths.
feet squared. I have 45 even. So when I add those up, that's 14, 10, that'd be 204 and 4 fifths. My last one, I have 42 and 1 half. When I add them up, that's 6, 4, 246. Now I know my 1 half, I want, I would have to convert that to 10. So that's going to be times 5 over 5, which equals 5 tenths. So 1 half would be 5 tenths. And 4 fifths times 2 over 2 would equal 8 tenths. 8 tenths. So now I got 8 tenths, excuse me, 8 tenths, which is 4 fifths, minus 5 tenths, it's going to give me 3 tenths. So this is the total amount that's not going to be carpeted. So when we come back up to our 624, 624, and I'm going to subtract 246 from it. Just the whole numbers for right now. And that's going to be 8 and 7, 378. But there's 3 tenths left I have to. So I'm going to make this 377 and 10 tenths. And I subtract 3 tenths from it, I'm going to end up with 377 and 7 tenths. 377 and 7 tenths, 377 and 7 tenths feet squared is our answer.